Lately I've been low down, losing all control. Henny with the soda, I've been on a roll. I've been taking toll. Thank you, Athletic Greens, for sponsoring today's video. Good morning, Anna. Time to wake up. I know it's early. I know you really don't want to, but it's time. Today I'm going to show you guys my spring morning routine on a good day. Because let me tell you, not every day looks like this. I do not get up this early every single day, even though I wish I would. Some days I get up at 6, some days I get up at 9, some days I'm super productive throughout my entire morning, and on some days it feels like I'm still half asleep whilst doing just what's necessary. Right after waking up, I usually question my entire existence, which is why it takes me forever to get up. I am not a morning person by nature, but I like to get up as early as possible to get the most out of my day. I usually grab my phone first thing, even though I know I really shouldn't, and it's definitely a goal of mine to stop that, but I still go check my emails, check my YouTube comments, my Instagram DMs, and then I take some time to respond to you guys, and maybe if I'm feeling a little bit extra tired that day, I'll go and watch a YouTube video. By the way, I never watch TikToks in the mornings because this is a foolproof recipe to not getting out of bed. I always get questions how I get so motivated to get up early and follow a structured morning routine and, well, I like to be as productive as I can be. However, I don't want anyone to think that I'm always motivated. Because I'm not. If there's one thing that I have learned throughout the last year, it's that you shouldn't depend on motivation, but much rather instead you should rely on discipline. I know that if I don't get up early, a lot of my tasks or things that I want to do will pile up eventually throughout the day, which will leave me extra stressed. So to give myself more time to do both the things I have to and the things I want to do, I get up early. I think every morning of your life sets the tone for the whole day, weeks and months ahead of you. How you start your day and how you appreciate your body at this early stage to me really determines how you are going to be feeling the next hours ahead. Which is why I like to take a special part of my morning out for wellness. Wellness means something completely different for everybody. For me it's my athletic greens and yoga, to you it might be meditation, reading or journaling or doing nothing at all. Appreciating my body and nourishing it the right way is super important to me. However, I don't like it when things get overly complicated when it comes to supplements, which vitamins I have to take and what minerals I can get fitted into my diet, which is why I love AG1. AG1 by Athletic Greens is a daily supplement which contains more than 75 different ingredients like vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics and adaptogens. Athletic Greens says that 2022 is the year where you do more with less. More love, more fun, more activities, more delicious food, but all with less worries. I have been taking AG1 for the past month and I can already tell a difference in my body. Since I'm no longer taking pre-workouts and I do not drink coffee, I find that with AG1 I am still super energized, which is why I love taking it before my workouts, right after waking up on an empty stomach. It also helps me with my digestion, my immune system and my skin. It is a super convenient supplement to take since you do not have to swallow pills. All you need is one scoop of AG1 and 8 ounces of water and you're good to go. The taste is very subtle, slightly sweet, but nothing artificial or over the top. Go to athleticgreens.com slash to get started on your first purchase and receive a free one you supply vitamin D and 5 travel packs. Thank you Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. I love morning yoga and whenever I can, I try to include it within my morning routine. It's just something about a nice stretch, getting yourself up and ready after a night in bed, which leaves me feeling more excited and ready for the day.
Okay, my morning workout is something that I'm not willing to ever skip. I am no morning person by nature and I had to force myself to get into the habit of waking up early and working out, but honestly, I could not imagine going back to my old ways. There's just something about a workout that leaves me feeling so much better. It's the 60 minutes to myself, blocking out the noise and just moving. We tend to get lost within our days and we barely allow ourselves to find our ways back out again. Fitness and workouts will not be the solution for everyone, but to me, it's an escape. And it's something that I'm looking forward to every single day. Trying out a new workout, hitting your favorite split, hitting personal bests, having a good sweat, a good stretch, a good time. All those things make me want to get out of bed each morning. But I do not work out every single day. I go to the gym four to five times a week and I take two to three rest days. Having a slow morning without any movement is nothing bad. I am a huge believer that getting ready physically also gets you ready mentally. If you have been here for a while, you know I know you know. I get ready and I automatically feel much more capable to take on whatever the day holds. I wash my hair, I do my skincare routine, I put on a cute work from home outfit and I just feel comfortable but done up, if that makes any sense. I do not do this for anyone else but myself. I'm doing this as a part of my me time, as part of my daily prep and for inner content. breakfast okay hear me out i have a love-hate relationship with breakfast i for the sake of myself cannot eat right after getting up it's just not working i feel sick the pure thought of food grosses me out and so i don't eat up until very late in the morning so we could sort of say i'm a brunch girl i love breakfast meals like oats pancakes eggs toast falafel hummus yes this is arabic breakfast fruit platters smoothie bowls granola cereal you name it, I love it. But I also love savory meals, which is why I tend to switch up between having either protein oats, like today, or eggs and avocado toast. Or sometimes I skip breakfast and I have a full on meal with rice instead. You know, don't blame yourself just because you're not eating the conventional food that you have in mind when thinking of a certain meal. Listen to your cravings, honor them, and if you want cake for breakfast, have that cake. But maybe add something to it because a balanced plate is a happy plate. I am a full-time university student. I am in dental school, which is pretty time and energy consuming. But right now I'm currently on my winter slash spring break because in Germany, the term started in October and April. And we are about two weeks away from heading back into dental school. So all I have to do right now when it comes to my morning work shift is my other life as a YouTuber. And yes, that still sounds weird to me. But I have to answer emails, I have to create content, and most importantly, I have to edit. Today I was editing an Instagram reel, you should definitely follow me on there, and I was writing out a script for a video. Every day is different, sometimes I'm on my phone non-stop because of work relations, I'm in calls, I'm editing all day, or I'm not doing anything at all. I know this is not the most relatable lifestyle to a lot of you out there, but I will be posting an updated morning routine once I'm back at school. We are actually starting in-person classes again, and that's gonna be exciting.
So those are wake up kisses. Na, wie sehe ich aus? Sexy. I got my head out the sunroof. I'm dancing off every tune. I know, obviously, it's not the morning anymore, but it was lunchtime. I was filming a what I eat in a week while it's filming this morning routine, so if you want more details onto the meals that I showed you today, keep an eye out for that new video. But today I was having a quick and easy nourish bowl, using up some leftover kisio that Maddox's mom made last night, chickpeas, tomatoes, lettuce, cottage cheese, and tahini dressing. It is so quick and simple, yet so delicious, and I, I just love it. I just love food, what can I say? In the back of my mind, I'm feeling like this might be and by now, it was 2.30pm and I hope you have or you had an amazing morning, day or night, wherever in the world you are right now. I hope you don't ever take your days for granted, even if you like me, you feel like there's not much going on. It's still your life, so go and make the best out of it. Good work.